First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. And I just want to talk about his people. And you know how he's never going to, you know, forsake his people. You know, um, even though we in 2022 and still got to talk about, you know, these blatant things that the Lord always been for Israel and nobody else. But you still have people, even our people that try to argue that, you know, who the world ignorantly called Jesus came for everybody. So, you know, hopefully this video will be edifying. So let's start with Psalms 94. So, so it said <clears throat> that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. And the pit symbolized a prison. When you go to Isaiah 24, 21, it talks about how the prisoner is going to be gathered, all right, into the pit. So. You know, Esau, Edom, which is the top heathen, the self-proclaimed white man, he's going into captivity. All right. That's all in the scriptures. And even in the last book, which is Revelation 13, 9 and 10. All right. So it said, for Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. And that's the one thing that people do. They make the Lord a liar. They really do. You know, um, and it's really, really sad because like when you argue with people, right, and you bring out all these scriptures, it could be a hundred scriptures today. One, you know, they're going to go to John three sixteen, All right. So then even when you break down what the word world mean in the Greek, they still. So it's like they are the deaf adder that shut up their ears. All right. So Esau, Edom ain't trying to hear that. All right. Jake's, they just got Stockholm Syndrome and they can't help themselves. They just coon to the foolish. But, you know, it said for Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness and all the upright in heart shall follow it. So that's the elect. So the elect know these things. It, was, it wasn't meant for the two thirds to get it on this side. You know, the scriptures that um you may read for Esau, it applies to two thirds, too, because when it says for for consider the works of the most high for who can make that straight, which he have made crooked. Now, that's talking about Esau, you know, in the whole totality of things. But that goes for two thirds, too, because you have to understand that even though the two thirds is going to be saved through the one third. This is their lot until that time come. So they cannot get this truth. As scripture said, they've been blinded unto this day. So if the Lord put that spirit in you to not get it, you ain't going to get it. All right. So how much more the self-proclaimed white man, the wicked that the Bible speak of, they can't get this. They ain't meant to get this, but they're going to try to argue because I always said if I was an Edomite, <laughs> I would be trying to fight tooth and nail too. Uh-uh, you ain't leaving me out. I ain't going to go into slavery. Uh-uh. But this is really one of my favorite scriptures in the whole Bible. Because if people really read this in context, it's nothing you could gainsay against this. Especially the last part of it. So if for, to say, for I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now... If the Lord change according to everybody else that don't know the truth, we would be consumed. We would just be equal with everybody else. So we had to go into captivity. All right. Nobody else got to go into captivity. We had to we had to suffer all the things that we suffer. Nobody else suffer. And then we just all going in, into the kingdom. Happy go lucky. 
All right, what kind of just God is that? So you got people always say this. If, if it is, I have to put it in this um this um context. If there is a God that you believe in, where is the justice at? So you saying that these people just got to go into captivity, and then they go through all the hell that they go through, and then everybody just go into the kingdom, happy go lucky, huh? Hand in hand. Joining hand in hand together. Kumbaya, huh? No. All right? So, Jacob, you are not consumed. All right? So, who cares about what these jabronis talk about? So, it says, which is, ooh, this is one of my favorites, too. So, it says, a song of degrees they that trust in Yahweh should be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abide forever. As the mountains are around about Jerusalem, so Yahweh is around about his people from henceforth, even forever. All right. So, you know, the thing is, is that when Yahweh shot, he said he's going to lay down his life for his sheep. I did a video on that a couple of videos ago. All right. So you have to find out who a sheep is. All right. And when you go into the Old Testament and the New Testament, the sheep always been Israel. So. You have to read in with the context, man. And a lot of people don't do that. Even people who profess to know the truth, they don't read the context, man. That's a gift. All right. And the Lord, you have to ask for that gift if you can't read with the damn context. All right. Scripture say if you lack wisdom, ask for it. So anyways, I just want to read um, 7 and 8. And it says, And I will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people in the veil that spread over all nations. Because Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, the wicked that the Bible speak of, it's only 18 nations in the Bible, but when you look it up, it's 195 nationalities now in 223 countries. All right. Now, the countries really ain't that important, but really, I just wanted to um, highlight the fact that the 195 nationalities, that's what you get. That's what you call the covering cast over all people. So the Lord said he's going to destroy that. Everybody's going to go back to who they really are. We're going to go back to who we really are. Esau will go back to who he really are. Moab will go back to who they really are. All right. Then he said, he will swallow up death in victory in you. And the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from all of, of all faces. Look at this. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth for Yahweh have spoken. And let me read that again. He will swallow up death and victory, and the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from of him, from off, from off. Gee, I keep saying from of, from off all faces. All right, because even if you, even though he's talking about Israel right here, but you can actually say from all faces because the scripture said after you know the kingdom is actually you know done that the nation is going to be able to go back to where they going to go and to live under our laws and then the world is going to live in harmony. All right. So if you want to be technical, but this scripture is actually talking about Israel because it's the same scripture when you go into Revelation 21, when you talk about New Jerusalem coming down. All right. So, um, yeah, he will swallow up death and victory and the Lord, how will wipe away tears from off all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth from Yahweh have spoken it. All right. So a lot of people really just don't get it. They just don't get it. And it's all right. It's all right. So I'm going to read this. This is the best scripture when it comes to Yahweh Shah, who he came for. So let's read down. And it say, And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's John's dad. John the Baptist, Dad. Let's make sure. Mm. Meaning, remember? Yep, the father of John the ba Baptist. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
So it said, And the father of Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. All right, let's get a quick uh, English lesson real quick. So you got possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, and personal pronouns. In this case, this is a possessive adjective. What is possessive? Possessive. <laughs> what is possessive? I got a speech impediment, so excuse me. What is possessive? Something that shows possession. And possessive adjective is something, it's the, it's the word that shows possession before the noun. So his is the adjective that shows possession to the noun, which is the people. All right. So in, in, in a lot of scriptures, it's like that. Even in the scriptures that say all in us. All right. So but for the take of son, for the um, sake of time's sake. All right. I'm a, and to say and he and have raised up a horn of salvation for us. All right. Now, that's a personal pronoun because that is a personal pronoun shows the personal relationship between a thing or people all right so it said and he have raised up a horn of salvation for us who's the us israel in the house of his servant david as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which he have been since the beginning salakia <laughs> and as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began that we should be saved See, we, personal pronoun, from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, of all that hate us, right? To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to the rem and to remember his holy covenant, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is our fathers. All right, that was the promise went through. Oh, the next scripture. The oath which he swore unto Father Abraham, that he would grant unto us, there we go again, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. And guess what? I realized too, if you put emphasis on certain words, it make the scripture pop out better. So that's why I'm doing it. All right. That's a little something, something. That um, I came across when I would do my reading myself. Like when you when you highlight and emphasize certain words, it make the scripture pop out better. But anyway, it say in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. All right. And thou child shalt be called the prophet of the highest for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. All right. And that's actually talking about John, because John was the one, but John the Baptist was the one that prepared the way. It say to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remissions of their sin. <sighs> All right. So it said, though the tender mercy of, the, of our God, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. King David talks about that. Though we walk through the shadow of valley of death, I will fear no evil. All right. Who is in the shadow of valley of death? Israel. Okay. We are sheep led to the slaughter. That's our life, man. We are under curses. You know, and the devil, who is our number one enemy, this is his world. So it said to guide our feet into the way of peace because you should know the truth and the truth should make you free. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the deserts to the day of his showing unto Israel. So that's what he did. Came John the Baptist, you know, uh, laid out the red carpet to bring in our Lord. And then from that time, he went out to preach. That's what he did when he was on the earth. He preached in the synagogues. He preached in the cities. Our people rejected him. Only a uh, remnant only um, believed in him. And that's what's going on today. All right. But it's always been about our people, man. Always. So hopefully this video was edifying and shalom.